It's like they made my character invisible, but he still had a hitbox. Get on. Come on, man. What am I supposed to do? It's all right. We're getting we're getting better. We're we're consistently making it a little a little further. I mean, this level is a this is a bit of a cluster, man. Song change will save you. There's only two safe songs in this game, from my perspective. The other one is Hey 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 Hey. No save this time either. Okay. And honestly, the thing with that, at least this song, I think people have gotten used to. Hey 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 is just like a parade of people going like please change the song i will pay you money hey now misha thank you for the gifted subscriptions thank you you guys remember misha the dog from youtube that said i love you mishka maybe i'll just die then Mishka, say I love you. No, 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 don't, no DMCA. We got a ways to go. Oh, I love this fucking song, man. I, I wish we could play it. No, it's two away. One more. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. 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 This is when when you get the second mic at karaoke, but you don't really know the words to the song. Come on! Like a chicka cherry cola. Here we go. Saves this time. Saves. Beauty. We were zeroed in on it that time. This song changed me. I just did. The, the, the song is like so like nakedly trying to be inspirational that it's almost nefarious. Like this is the song that plays well like ransomware hackers empty out your bank account. It's like, please do not be alarmed. All your money is belong to us now. Enjoy, smiley face, but it goes bracket colon instead of colon bracket. Saved. Okay, good plays, good plays. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay. Oh, yeah. The, the Matrix? My reaction when the pill that mother gives you does, doesn't do anything at all. Okay, just don't aim for that one, aim for these. Oh. <laughs> no, I actually love this shit and that's what bothers me. We have, we have 38 minutes-ish before we would be on time for the Super Auto Pets. This is not a knock on Ludwig, it's a knock on the fact that it's an event with like 12 streamers in it. You know there's no way that thing's starting on time. Like, I'll be there on time and I'm, I'm ready for some banter, but I would just say for your purposes, bake in the expectation, which is that it might take us a little bit to really get things going. But I got at least 37 minutes of Alt F4 left, and I gotta tell you, man, I, I love it. Hey, 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 hey! 
understand it. I'm calling a minimum 15 minutes. I wouldn't even sweat 15 minutes, man. I wouldn't even sweat 15 minutes. Look, I'm don't don't start. With, I I could give myself in a lot of trouble for this, okay? But every time I see like a, for example, like a Wall Street Journal article, that's like streamers talking about how much they work, and and they do put in a lot of hours. That's like mathematical. It's undeniable. But anytime I see like interviews like that, I always just remember that like literally everything I've ever done with more than four streamers is like. One person shows up like 45 minutes late and is like, sorry, my Uber Eats didn't arrive, so I had no choice but to be late for 45 minutes because I had to get in. And <laughs> I'm not trying to, to take down my peers. I'm just saying. Please. No, that's Apollo's on time. That's not an Apollo knock. Now, would he be on time and be like, hold on, I have to go to the door because my Uber Eats is here? Yes, but I think that's well within the bounds of understandability. Yeah, the filthy top 100 streamers. Top 100, man. Just, just life's, they, they live in a bubble up there. They're not connected to reality anymore. <laughs> Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Anyway. How do you know you haven't moved up one? I guess I have to wait for the hackers to tell me. <laughs> we'll find out at some point, I'm sure. I will say, though, it's a double-edged sword, because, like, uh... Oh, no. There's no chance. You see how fast I was going down there? But, uh, it's a double-edged sword, because most streamers... Maybe not most streamers, but anytime you get a group of streamers together, you're, there's guaranteed to be lateness. It's like, you know... It's there's no such thing as a free lunch, you know. By getting streamer diversification, you guarantee yourself a six percent return on uh, waiting for them to go live. However, most streamers also don't stop their streams when they intend to, so you do get a little bit on the tail end. I got to acknowledge that, and I'm the opposite. I am like always live within 15 minutes, depending on traffic of like when I say I'm gonna be live, but I'm like definitely also offline like within 15 minutes of when I say I'm gonna be offline there is no bonus stream here <laughs> most of the time at least for now okay you know what to do here it's just centripetal motion oh my god no, no, no. Oh yeah, I can make this. I can't make this. I can make this. Come on! <laughs> All right, that's fine. No, 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 no. Lightning. Okay, lightning we can work with. Can we have the chicken bop? Perhaps. Chicken bop? What is this? Uh, uh... Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Chicken bop, what is this? Uh, a Korean restaurant run by a... Elderly couple from Wisconsin? Because, uh, like, bop is, is Korean for rice, but then sometimes you'll, like, 
go to a Korean restaurant and it'll be like, it'll be like, hey, we have like, you know, fried chicken bibimbap. And I'm like, that's not a thing. You, I don't think you'd understand, chat. Like, honestly, like, I don't think you'd get it. I don't think you would understand it. Why is Wisconsin always your go-to state? It's not always. I take shots at I took shots at Indiana earlier. Come on. So yeah, that's true. I say Missouri a lot and and Florida on occasion. I do make fun of Texas sometimes when or like maybe Oklahoma whenever people talk about housing prices. They're always like, damn, downtown San Francisco, two million dollars? I don't think so. You could buy a mansion in the shithole where I live for 75 grand, man. People do not want to live here at all. Shit is insanely cheap. You make fun of Nebraska less than most people? It's kind of funny, like... There was, uh... A situation where I was watching 90 Day Fiance and there was a couple, Anna and Marcel. Anna! And uh, they lived in Nebraska, like Omaha, I think. And then, like, all the establishing shots they did of Omaha, there were like these soaring mountain vistas with like, whoop, almost spilled my breakfast, with like snow peaked mountains and stuff like that. Like, it looked amazing. And then I told Chet, I was like, yo, and the, Omaha looks incredible. Uh, like, it's it's so nice, so mountainous. And then Chet was like, Nebraska's like one of the flattest states on the planet. I looked it up on Google Street View. It was literally like two-dimensional. I don't know where the hell they live, but it was not Omaha. It was not a hill. It was like a, it was a genuine mountain. Anyone here live in uh, Omaha? Honest question, if you live in Omaha, have you ever seen Warren Buffett just going through the McDonald's drive-thru? Like, does it, does it, the same way everybody that goes to South by Southwest has a Bill Murray story, like, have you ever seen Warren Buffett just like, you know, <laughs> filling up his, his paper cup from a, a Coke fountain or something? Sadly, not yet. Bet that dude lies about his McDonald's order. I watched the Warren Buffett documentary. He, he said if if the market's in the red when he goes through the drive-thru, he just gets like a sausage biscuit. Like not even the like sausage McMuffin. He just asks for the sausage patty. I was like, dude, you're fucking like 86 years old. It's time to get serious about your health, man. You can't just be going through the drive-thru ordering a... A single sausage patty at your age. That's, that's, that's crazy. It's already kind of blowing my mind that you're driving yourself through the drive-thru. Oh, ah! I'm okay. And then he was like, I don't get a drink because we have a, a Coke soda fountain at... Berkshire Hathaway headquarters, so I saved myself like a dollar thirty by just filling up my cup at the at the workplace. I was like, man, this guy's fucking crazy. I'm kind of I'm for it, by the way, but like, that's crazy, man. That's my problem, man. I'm always buying these, like, $2 medium sodas with my McDonald's combos. It's putting me in the red. And I, I, I do that whether the market is in the black or in the red. Doesn't matter. To, I don't check the, the S&P 500 before I make my McDonald's order. And that's the difference between me and Warren Buffett. I just drink out of the sink like a normal person. <laughs> I can make this, man. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, we can make this. Mm. Come on! I can put on the chicken song next, maybe. By the way, it's been probably like two years since I've I've like talked about this bit. Goodbye. Have have people come around now? Like to the uh, we should use our save, then get this other item. Let's go. Have people come around now to the idea that? Um, the Coke freestyle machines are way worse than the analog lever-based Coca-Cola fountains. Okay, don't don't touch it yet. Don't touch it yet. I fucking hate a Coke freestyle machine, man. We're chilling. I, they tried to sabotage me. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those machines are the best. Yeah, they're the best at making it take uh, like an extra two minutes to get your drink filled up because everybody in front of you is like, Ooh, I'm exotic. I'm kind of like an island boy. Let me get a splash of uh, Barks Zero Vanilla. And then if you could maybe put some Raspberry Fuse in that and then... Combine that with the fact that the touchscreen technology is like straight out of, you know, 2009 and there's like a, an offset in where you click with your finger and I'm dead. There's just no way. And then also like, uh, you know, a lag on pressing it and stuff like that. Like it just, there's just no, the, the juice ain't worth the squeeze, man. Like it takes an extra 10 minutes to get everybody into the theater because they were all like, ooh, I needed a little splash of Cranberry Minute Maid in my Sprite Remix. Like, it's just crazy. You can still remix your own drinks at the fountain. You know, you just had like seven different spouts. You just played that shit like Sean Wasabi. There's no problem. You're solving a problem that didn't exist. Also, they all taste the damn. So they all taste like, like orange diet coke because they come out of the same damn hose. Come on, man. Okay, I gotta. I, I can't get back to change the song. <laughs> I just look. He jumped. He jumped. We got. I can't listen to this anymore. That's fine. I'll live with this. We might be here forever, man. It's the only way I can get Sprite Zero. Look, I'm just... Look, you're like... You're probably a great person. Treat people kindly. Donate to charity. Etc. Etc. But like... It's just Sprite Zero. Like... Everybody else is getting slowed down, like, so much just so you can get, like, Sprite Zero? Like, there's gotta be a better way, man. Like, McDonald's Sprite, I would be like... Maybe. Maybe I could see waiting for some McDonald's Sprite if you need your pipes degreased. Just be patient instead? I mean, I am patient, but it's just like, I don't know. Why should I have to lose two minutes of my life just because somebody with, you know, who thinks that their favorite soda is their personality is in front of me being indecisive, you know? Like, I have to pay with the one life force I get on planet Earth just because you can't decide between, like, caffeine-free Coke Zero and Bark's Cherry? Like, it doesn't make... Why, like, if you only cost yourself time in that situation, I would be like, let them live. But because they're clogging up the gears for the rest of the productive members of society, that's where I'm like, can you just move on? Like, literally, it's all just different configurations of corn syrup. It's not that big of a deal.
No, not too far, not too far. Thank you, thank you. Why is it a big deal to you? It's not a big deal. I'm literally just, like, making a joke. But, like, on top of that, it's like everybody thinks, like, if it takes a minute to get the soda, then it's... I'm only delaying you by a minute. But no, like, you're delaying, like, you know, the eight people behind you in the soda line by a minute each. That's just crazy talk. Been thinking about it for years? Well, yeah, some of us don't need to... <laughs> Some of us don't need to occupy our time with shit like Shang-Chi ending explained because it's pretty much self-explanatory. Like, it's all it's all on the screen. So I, I get it if you're like, oh, what does it mean? Like, it, uh, at the end of the Parasite with a Y anime, when the dude's arm becomes a leg, what are the implications? But, like, when I watch it, I just kind of get it. So, like, I just think about other stuff. Like, why is the damn soda line so long? Like, stuff that would actually improve your quality of life, like getting in and out of, like, mindless chores faster instead of meaningless stuff like, you know, one last lick of honey before the inevitable climate disaster takes us all. Excuse me, his arm becomes a dream. I haven't- I- look, I shouldn't knock Parasite. <laughs> oh no, oh, you thought I was done? I don't think so. Out, am I? I shouldn't knock Parasite. Parasite's well liked. I'm just saying, whenever people like take forever to do anything, instead of just being like, oh yeah, sorry, I'll go faster. They're always like, oh, like you're so important. Well, it's not that I'm important. It's just like, what's wrong? Why is it taking you you know, 45 seconds to pick between the seven different brands of beans that all have the same contents in the can and are all the same price. Doesn't make any sense. I'm just surprised. I hope Joss Whedon commentary becomes a recurring bit. I can only, I only know like, like, two things to say about Joss Whedon. Um, that just happened. Uh, is there a big demon behind me right now? Is the alien behind me right now? Is he big and green? Is this the part where we run? Holy farkin shirt balls. Didn't you have a rant a little while ago where you talked about being rushed at the grocery store? Or at, at the candy section of the movie theater? Um, first off, not everything that someone talks about is a rant. Secondly, if you remember, because clearly you watched it, um, the whole point of that is that I said, you know what, I think the guy at the concession stand has a point. Like, we were taking a long time, and honestly, I feel him. So, like, what's your point? Is your point that you watch too much of my content? Because <laughs> I think the point has been taken. <laughs> it's crazy, man. People are like, um, excuse me, when you told that joke, it's inconsistent with your earlier moral epistles? Son of a! In, in Epictetus's letter to Seneca the Younger, he says, "'Tis it not better to have baked the bread than to taste it? For when you bake it, you get the service of not only helping, but also of tasting. But when you taste, you merely get to digest." And yet, you're trying to tell me that you enjoyed, uh, eating a meal? I don't think so. Okay, hold on. That's a made-up quote. Don't don't go to don't go to Epictetus's chat, okay? And then go like, hey, that's some fucked up shit that you said to Seneca the Younger. Look, I made that up, okay? But you gotta admit, it did sound just like him. Like, is Epictetus in the room with us right now? Well, excuse me. It did sound just like... Dude, I... You think I haven't read the moral epistles? Letters from Epictetus to Seneca? I mean, I haven't read them. I listened to the audiobook. 
And honestly, like, half of the chapters are boring as sin. But, like, some of them, I'm like, damn, this guy's spitting. Someday, like, there's chapters of that book that'll be, like... Like, Epictetus will write a 20-minute a, a long letter to Seneca that is essentially just, like, I'm pissed off about something. Like, I mean, it sounds familiar, right? It'll be like, why do people wear purple togas? And you're like, what's up with that? Like, why is he so mad? And then, um... The next letter, he will be like, do not fear death because we have already died a thousand times imagining dying. And I'm like, holy shit, this guy's like... This guy's spitting. Why was he going off about that... That purple toga stuff earlier? Saved. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where's my save balloon? I thought I could hit it with the shield. I just didn't want it. And it oh, come on, man. I, de I definitely do feel like Epictetus. He's probably like the Larry David of his time. You're right, he said, people at the Agora. How long does it... You motherfucker. How long does it take to choose Pharaoh? All the Pharaoh's the same, it's just the grain. How many times do you need to pick up a handful of pharaoh and let it drain through your fingers to gauge its quality? Just pick some pharaoh! Don't oh, I get this pharaoh? Should I get that pharaoh? I don't know! And the garum! Don't get me started on the garum! The garum has to be just right! We wouldn't want to besmirch the pharaoh by buying improper garum! This is the one. We have a palindromic numbered knight. You're absolutely right. This is a blessed attempt. Garum, the fermented fish sauce? No, the Pokemon trainer. Yeah, the fermented fish sauce. Is this the part where we run? Holy freaking shirt balls. Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> we don't care for a shield. What the hell? What the? Save point, now we're talking. Dude, I was thinking like, how sick is bread? Like you, you don't really get it when you're like a kid. You're like, what, whatever, it's just bread. But then when you're like, you think about like the middle ages and shit like that, you could take the flour like from your farm and then like bake that shit into lo like a loaf and you could just put that shit like in your pocket and carry it anywhere. It's like, you know, cause energy is life, man. It's like portable life. You got like a little extra time in your pocket. That shit's crazy, dude. Well, okay, you didn't have to put it in your pocket in the Middle Ages. Like, you could put it in, like, a weird satchel or something like that. You could put it under your hat. It's kind of crazy when you think about it or whatever. Like, you're gonna do that with rice? Like, you're gonna boil, like, a shitload of rice at home and then just carry it around in an old sock or something like that? Doesn't, doesn't seem likely to me, but, you know, you do you, I guess. Were you high? No, I'm just a free thinker. And that's why they try to silence me. When I say obvious shit like the Witcher's not that good. I did like the uh Dude, I'm just using this shit. I don't care. I need I need my save points, so I want my board. I did love the the tweet that went semi <laughs> oh no. Semi-viral that was like You know people in places where weed is legal and then it was like the Wojak going like oh is this you know 
raspberry cobbler and they're like, no, it's California purple kush. And then the the other one was like, where weed is illegal. And it was like, what kind of weed is this? Weed. That was a, that was a very good post. I was like, that's, I don't really understand it, but I laughed. There's another one. Uh, people told me if you like our subway, you gotta check r slash like dishwashing, where there's a bunch of people who work as dishwashers in restaurant that all have memes together, and there was one that it, it was the same meme format, right? And it was like servers, or like front of house talking about like how stressful things are, and they're like, oh, it's such a hard night. I've got four tables to cover, and then the other server goes like, don't worry, I'll help you. And then the, below that in the panel, it said, uh, dishwashers. And one of them was like, are you ready to fucking die tonight, brother? And then the other one just says, yes. And I was like, I have never worked as a dishwasher in my life. But that's maybe the funniest joke that's ever existed. Are you ready to fucking die tonight? <laughs> oh... It just makes me laugh just thinking about it, honestly. One of my friends was a dishwasher. I mean, I was going to say still is, but that's not true. He is now, a, I believe, a sous chef. But yeah, he was basically like, he became a dishwasher. And he was like, this kind of is like hell. But then he did it for like 10 years. I'm not saying that that means that he loved it. I'm just saying like... I. I think it's kind of like being a dishwasher is like serving in the army or something like that. Like, I feel like leisurely washing dishes by hand is not that bad. Like, as a job, it's a different story. But using that, like, fucking 700 degree dishwashing machine that you like pull down and you shove the tray in and like hot steam gets like that's the closest Ooh. in the modern day that's like the closest you can get to being like an engineer on the fucking titanic shoveling coal into the engine and like a bunch of soot like getting spit out of the angry furnace and getting in your eye and shit like that leaving your face all pockmarked I can't even imagine. It's gotta. It's gotta suck, man. What a waste. What a waste. Okay. Okay, I gotta. I gotta check. I gotta check on things. Make sure I'm not being like too late or anything like that. Let me just take a look at something. Okay, message from 15 minutes ago. How do I get the DLC? I don't think I'm in danger of being overtime. I, I can't believe we're making no progress. Like, that's... That's scaring the shit out of me. By the way, I didn't even po Last do you think that when I don't post about Super Auto Pets, it's because I'm either not playing or even worse, playing but losing? Last night, I had an incredible 10 win, a uh, Tiger plus Leopard build. And then I thought, I should post this. People will want to see it. I will post this. And then I thought, you know what? No. In the modern age, not sharing everything is having power. Choosing to live experiences and then not give them away for free on social media is in its own way creating value for yourself. And then I just went to bed instead and I said I'll talk about it on stream tomorrow. But like, it's a start, man. It's a start. Jerma said he fell asleep to your tier list. <laughs> honestly, I, I think the tier list is honestly still pretty relevant. But the 10 life meta has changed things. It is also three hours long, so I don't. I take no disrespect to it, but I I now actually genuinely in my heart of hearts, without a doubt, n no source dude just trust me required. I actually think that Duck might be in a tier above S tier. 
I think it's... Like, you actually now kind of have to take a duck. Or at least if you don't take a duck, you're deliberately hampering yourself. Duck used to be... When, when losing a round cost you 25% of your HP, duck was near unplayable, in my opinion. Now that losing your first two rounds uh, doesn't really inhibit you too much, the ability to roll into round three, have a, um, like, three ducks or more, even, sell them all, and then pick up something insane, like, a you know, an 8-9 kangaroo and a 6-10 peacock or something, or like a, do, God help, like if you get an ox that has like, you know, seven HP and then you can just pill something shitty in front of it and get uh, melon armor on it to start with and then also a second melon armor, like, you will not lose, uh, you you will not get less than eight wins. I, I, I think it's mathematically impossible. It makes a huge difference. Like, on, I... I know there's going to be some people in the tournament that are running it, but like duck meta now is is insanely good. It if you the difference between like three ducks and not three ducks, like three three to four of your units, you don't get units that have stats that good for like ten rounds. Like the difference between a a, a default kangaroo and a kangaroo that has been duck buffed, like by the time you buy it, is is actually insane. If you if you run ducks early, there's been <laughs> multiple experiences where uh, basically I lose the first two rounds, sell all of my ducks, and then my first unit at the front just kills the entire enemy team for like four rounds in a row. The the duck is insane now. I, and I, I, can I say, I think I am a little uh, bearish on ducks relative to the meta. I think you could even probably just roll five ducks or even like a level two duck and a few d ducks on the side. I think you could roll that, give away your first four losses, which would take you to four HP out of ten. Sell them all when you get to those tier three, tier four units and then just go ape. Like, I, I don't think, you, I don't. It's so much easier not to not to lose when you get all these stats. Anyway, I'm telling you, ducks. The other thing is, because ducks are so good, you don't end up losing as much in the early game because everybody's rolling ducks. So what I it used to be like, you know, the first few rounds were ruthless. If you didn't have like ant, mosquito, um, fish or something along those lines, you were in trouble. Now, everybody's got like a duck and an otter on their team, so even if you think you're gonna lose, like, you're you're likely to just draw. Anyway, like, I'm getting way too into it, but... The, the duck is just insane. You gotta be careful about scorpions. Here's the thing, scorpions, like, are insanely good value, but not today, motherfucker. You piece. <laughs> uh, scorpions are very easily countered. The the way that they screw you is you don't know when they're going to show up. But if you plan on them showing up, you just give your frontline unit melon armor. Or you just throw a scorpion in front of your unit. Then if they have a scorpion, then your scorpion hits their scorpion. And then your 50-50s just go buck wild. Rooster still Dodo Rooster is is the genuine counter because Dodo Rooster is just insane. But you know what you do is you like you buy if if you just want to win the game. I'm here to tell you that this is not like Turkey Tiger Fly anymore. If you don't if you don't care, I got one more try. If you don't care uh, about having fun and you just want to win games, go duck meta early. Uh, and then the, the next thing for you is try not to sell your ducks until you see a dodo, which happens in tier 3, I think. Sell all of your ducks to get an insane dodo. Put your dodo behind a tanky unit with melon armor. 
and then as soon as you see roosters, just start like freezing those roosters, buying cans, buying cans, freezing roosters. When you get enough roosters to make a tier two, sell whatever you have to sell to put the rooster on your team, buff it with the dodo, and then like it's over. You, early game, I mean, here's the, the, the tenets of like no fun wins in Super Auto Pets right now. Early game, buy ducks. Sell ducks to make your dodo like a, a 6 7. Put your 6 7 dodo behind like your level 2 fish. Put garlic armor on your fish. That's like, that'll take you to 7 wins right there. In the meantime, once you get to tier 4, start looking for roosters. You don't have to buy a rooster right away. You can freeze it. Wait for more roosters to show up. You can freeze it. Uh, and then can it. You know, you can get buffs on it while it's still sitting in the shop. When you get to a level 2 rooster, either via 3 roosters or 2 roosters in chocolate, then you buy the rooster, sh level it up to level 2, stick it uh, in front of your dodo, and you win the game. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do the cart transfer this time. But it's, it's gonna reg me. It's gonna reg me. That's the, the problem. I'm gonna get regged all. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Sir, so yeet, breakfast treat with the funky, funky feet. Hit the funky, funky breakfast tree. Don't zap me. Dark Souls? Anybody else up late on their boys flying buttress or just me? Up late doing a dance on my boys buttress? Full sprint. I don't give a shit. This is the pub, right? I mean, we got to save. Owns. Okay, okay, owns. This is the chicken path. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Okay, this is as far as I've ever gotten. God, I wish I had a damn cyclone, man. I think you gotta take the ore. Look back. We saved, didn't we? There's another save. Look back, who do you think I am, Orpheus? Or whatever. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Marines never look back, exactly. We're sending? Bro, this thing's never safe! All right, um, that's gonna, I'm gonna slash marker it. 